satisfying about knowing what's in the products you're using to clean your house. So Andrea is back with some natural homemade cleaners. We see so many people going in that direction now. Yes. Um, okay. Which is great. You know, you should know what's in your cleaning products. So what have you brought for us? Okay. Well, first we want to talk about screen, spring cleaning. We do. I wanted to know, interesting fact, how did the term spring cleaning originate? I have no idea. <laughs> so there's so many thoughts online, but one yeah. I thought that was interesting is that the shorter days and colder weather made it made people more sluggish. So they didn't really want, didn't have a lot yeah. of energy, so they didn't want to clean during the winter months. So once okay. the days got longer, the weather got warmer, their energy kicked in, so they did a thorough clean of their house, hence the word spring cleaning. It makes sense. Right? It makes sense. It's that time of year. You feel like fresh. It's renewal. Let's That's just it. do everything fresh. So it makes so a lot of sense. I get into those moods too, so I get it. Right? All right, so I thought we would make some fun cleaning products. Okay. Also some good ones that we're going to talk about that you can buy with essential oils. So there's certain oils that are really great to use around your house. Yes. Anything in the citrus family? So like lemon, grapefruit, orange are amazing, lavender, mm. pepper, peppermint. The nice thing about essential oils is that they work really well because they're antimicrobial yep. and they're antibacterial and antifungal. So you can, there's so many different uses for it, but they're amazing to use to clean your home. Okay. All right, so let's start out with the air in our house. Yes. So the best way to clean the air in your house is to use an essential oil diffuser. Right. I have so many of these going in my house. I love them. You All you need to do is you add some water, add some essential oil, whichever one you want, mm -hmm. put it in there, turn it on and it'll go for hours. Okay, and then you pick basically based on mood. If you want to be refreshed, you do something that's going to be more like, like a peppermint. peppermint. <laughs> you want to go down for the night, like lavender, lavender chamomile, which something is great. like that. Andrea has brought down a now aromatherapy diffuser and essential oil for everyone in today's audience. <laughs> They give us the essential oils, which is great. Lovely. All right, so now that we're moving on to the kitchen. Yes. So you can make a multi-purpose cleaner. So you can either buy one with essential oils. This is from Nature Clean. It's a brand that I use at home. What I love about them is they have essential oils in them. Oh, nice. Like lime and tea tree. Lovely. And they have no toxic fumes, so that's why I love this brand. Yes. Or you can make your own using the essential oils. What's great to use in the kitchen is lemon. Right. The reason lemon is great, because first of all, it works really well. It'll smell beautiful, mm -hmm. but it also helps to cut the grease. So you can use it to clean your dishes as well. Nice. So you can make, it, make a concoction of water with vinegar, about 20 to 30 drops of essential oil, and then okay. you could spray your house. One thing to note is, you see I have glass bottles over here? Mm -hmm. I like to use glass bottles because essential oils can degrade the plastic. Oh. So if you're going to make good it and know. use it right away, plastic's okay. Otherwise, yes. you want to store it for a while, glass bottles are the way to go. Oh, really good. Okay, well, we want to use what you're using. Yeah. Uh, so the Nature Clean products, they use natural ingredients from plants, animals, and essential oils. They are hypoallergenic and biodegradable, and our audience will take home a selection of Nature Clean products. If you want to clean your toilet, yes. <laughs> which is fun, right? What you, you should can be do cleaning is, your toilet. Right, that you can make a mix of, again, water, baking soda, some natural detergent, as well yeah. as hydrogen peroxide. Mix it all together, mm -hmm. cover it up, and then gently mix it, and spray it on your toilet. Let it sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and then use a toilet brush to wipe it down, or a pumice stone if you have some really harsh stains. Okay. And it works really well. Okay. Then don't use that pumice stone on your feet right away. <laughs> yeah, you want to wait a Just bit. Just your toilet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so to clean your mirror, what you can do is, again, you can make a mix of water, mm -hmm. some vinegar, as well as some rubbing alcohol. Good. Mix it all together in a bottle, but a cup of the, of the water with a half a cup of each of those, put it in, spray it on your mirror. The trick here is you want to use a flat weave cloth mm. because that way it doesn't trap any hair or gunk. Okay, got right? it. So that's the trick for your bathroom mirror, which is Lovely. Great. All right, so these are antibacterial wipes. So we don't often get around to cleaning our baseboards or our vents or mm -hmm. even our you know, converters, right? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is make reusable wipes. Put in some oh. water, so easy to do. Put in some water, some detergent, some again, some essential oils. Smell how beautiful that is. Oh. Oh, that smells good. Isn't that great? So then they're already prepared. You take it out, you use them, throw mm -hmm. them in the washing machine, finish the batch, make a new batch, and you're good to go. You're so good about reusing. Yeah. Really, really good. And here, all right, so this cleaning is our to, carpets. Yeah, to refresh, to basically freshen your carpet, especially if you have a pet at home. Yes. So what you can do is, again, take some vinegar and water, just spray it on the carpet, leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. Then take some baking soda with a light-colored essential oil, because okay. you don't want to stay in the carpet. Yeah. Spray it on, leave it on for about 30 minutes, yep. and then vacuum it up and it'll smell fresh. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, I'm gonna try that. I've been doing everything but using with the essential oil. So yeah. thank you for that. So it makes it smell amazing. It'll make it a smell amazing. Yeah. So there's always a natural way to clean almost anything you've been using, yes. maybe more chemical-based and toxic cleaners for. That's so right. Andrea, thank you so much for that.